So um, what happens is uh, we get into the technique and we lose the heart. So uh, I'm classically trained, you know, I started when I was eight years old and all that. I got a lot of technique. And it took, a, it took a long time for me to learn how to feel and play, you know, with heart. And the women drummers had a lot to do with showing me how to do that. The, uh, I had some great women drum teachers, right? And, and I'm not saying, like, I'm not dumping on the guys. Yeah, go, yeah, go for that. Because the guys play for different reasons. The guys play uh, for war, of course. But they also play for competition, you know, which is war. And uh, so why we want to do something by ourselves. Because the women have the, the reins on the society. You know, they have, they have babies. They cook food. You know, they take care of families. And so the guys drumming for very important reasons. I am not banging on this. But the whole thing about uh, competition, you know, testosterone has its place but when the women drum there's this other thing that starts to come in now just lay into the downbeat with me boom don't worry about your hands just do the downbeat boom boom that's the heartbeat that's the that's the beat of the baby in the womb that's that's the the sound of hope that's the sound of tomorrow that's the sound that everything's going to be okay. It's steady. It's strong. It's gentle. It's real nurturing. And it doesn't give up. It just keeps going. It's not competing. Right? It's just holding the whole thing together. The holding the fabric of society together. So it's great. Get technique. Cool. I love technique. But underneath all that is this wonderful simple note, which is the heartbeat. Now in our culture that comes from New Orleans, right? I mean it comes from everywhere, but originally, like about 350 years ago. When the African drummers come across in the slave ships, they were allowed to bring the drums because there was a higher level of survival. It's cold-blooded statistical truth. But when they got to the colonies, that drum was not allowed into the plantations, except in New Orleans, because New Orleans was not a slave state. New Orleans had a different situation. So what happened was all these different kind of people get together in what became Conga Square right, and started sharing. And they didn't know each other's food, they didn't know each other's language, they didn't know each other's customs. So they had to start from scratch. So one bright drummer said, hey, what if we just find one note that we can all agree on? And let's call it the downbeat. And voila, jazz was born. World beat was born. Right here, good old us, US. So that's what you got. That is your heritage, right? Doesn't matter what you look like, what side of the tracks you was born on. And if that downbeat can get you to move, then you're playing it right. It's feel. And that's what we bring to the world mix, is our feel. That's your heart. And you can go all over the world, and the one thing that the rest of the world will forgive us is our music. We can mess up on a lot of things, which we have, but our music pulls everybody together. And it has to do with feeling and caring and sharing and dancing. And that's what you got here. So you get your technique together, and that's a good thing. But underneath it, don't disconnect with your heart. Better yet, connect your heart to everybody else's. Because when you hit that downbeat, you're suddenly connecting to everybody else's heart. And you got community. And community is different than community.
Morgan Petey. Got extra drums up here. Anybody want to play these beautiful Donna drums? So what did I do here? I'm sneaking up on you. I didn't tell you necessarily what to play. What I am doing is I'm appealing to that little spirit. 